Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I should be audible instantly. I shouldn't be quiet. I should be good to go. You should be able to hear me fine over the music. Even though the music might be quite loud, I should be clear. Um, we are streaming today through OBS. We've done some OBS tests. That stream is available on YouTube as a VOD in the one-offs playlist. It's in there. You'll have to find it. But um, it is unlisted, so you'll only be able to find it through that playlist. Um, but yeah, OBS. Doing OBS stuff today. I'm recording it and trying to trying to play through it and record it and stream it and everything at the same time. Um, so that's exciting. New, fresh, which should hopefully let us go and go down the path of doing uh, other more exciting things with the stream itself. A nice little, uh, nice little new thing. Hello, Albatross. Hello, Francis. Welcome, welcome to you both. Um, for archival purposes, we are streaming today at 1080p, 60 frames. It is a 6,000 bit rate according to OBS and it is currently 8.35 p.m. on Sunday the 20th of August 2023. And we're, we're going to start a new character for Remnant. Even though we've got another character, that was fun and all. We're going to start a new character. Just cause. Francis wants a warm Aussie hug and Tim Tams. Well, you're in the right place to at least pretend. I have such a voice for commentating. Well, thank you. It's very kind of you. I'll commentate the shit out of things. Um. Okay. I'm gonna share the Tim Tams. Gotta share the Tim Tams. Everyone deserves Tim Tams. Not bad. No. I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. I could use that. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I, don't I could remember. use that. I don't remember who I used. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. I could use that. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. I don't remember. You think I chose three or four? Well, it was neither of those. It was neither of those. Thank you for the resub, Albatross. 34 months. 34 months is a long time. It's a long time. Hello, Saint. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. I don't like the looks of this. I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I could use that. <laughs> not bad. Not uh, that one will bad do. at all. That'll be fine. Um, we got to try and remember who we were. Um, eyeballs. Eyeballs were a color. They were a color. I remember that. I remember eyeballs being a color. 36 months and you get to co-chair a stream, right? Hey, look, I've invited you in to do It Takes Two and that sort of stuff before. One day we will have you here and you will you will be mic'd up and on stream as well. We shall we shall do do some stuff together. Thank you, Saint, for the gift sub to Francis. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Uh we'll go with we have oh, this is just like dirt and shit we don't want we don't want dirt and shit do we have any do we have any cool scars that aren't too over the top or are they all gonna be yeah we got some we got some slashes on one cheek i guess ah fuck it no scars uh no hardcore character um i am going to i am going to Hmm. Not just for the sneeze, though? No. Did you see Saint's entry comment? Uh, he said, I am, didn't he? What did Saint say before that?
I am? You are what? I don't know. I don't I don't have to do Now I'm lost. And stunted. The thing you sent out? Oh, yeah, okay. That's right. Some people are going to respond to that like I just said it. Yeah, no. Is it hard yet? No, it is now. That's good. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just cruise through this tutorial. We are going to play on a harder difficulty. Nightmare... Ah, ah, ah. Maybe we'll do some adventures on Nightmare. I'm going to start on Veteran. It is going to be tougher, but it is it is what we're going to do. What did he send out? Is it hard yet? Gunfire Games. Remnant 2. She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Whew, that is quite a drop. How dare she? Let me help you down. I've got this. You fucked it for all of us. <laughs> Speaking of trains, Francis has triggered a hype train. Thank you for the gift sub, Francis, to Dopey. Shit. Very, very kind of you. you okay. And, uh, just like the hype train, it enjoys crushing people's ankles, apparently. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind of everybody. That's three. What? Ah, oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my ma hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think I'd be dead. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Just two times. Ugh. Ugh. Hey. But you have the plague. You see that. The Can shoulder plague. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on. Roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let hey, me how see. Long, how long have we traveled together oh. and she saved my life twice? And is like, we're not friends. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. Kid said the ward was this way. What kid? Got up recently and you gotta do some stuff so you'll be lurking. All right, too easy, Francis. Thank you, thank you. you thank you again for the gift sub. That old fairy tale? Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. Super club. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. Yeah. <laughs> when you want only sorry, when you only want the best, Fulton's original blend for the finer things in life, Jules Fulton's. You've never had a better cop. Okay, bye lady. I can run now. But thank you everybody. For the gift subs and stuff to make that hype train. That's very cool of you all. I very much appreciate it. Not yet. The door's locked. I'm just going this way. Locked. Great. We've had this chat in a different timeline. Now. Ain't got nowhere to go. You talking to me? I'm There's over here. Be another way through. My eyes are up here. What's a hype chat? Hype train. Oh look! Now I fell down and broke my legs. You know what I mean. A hype train. A hype train is very exciting. Just because I get the name wrong. Huzzah! I'm going to leave her out there. Go this way. Get some treasure. Holy shit. That was a punch. Why did I punch? 
Why did I punch? That wasn't. I didn't. Hey, okay. Unlock the damn door. Oh, no, I said it right. You're asking what a hype chat is. It says it in the thing. Um, sub gift hype chat for? or use bits. Let I think hype in. chats. I think hype chats are like top tier. Something, something, somethings, something or others for like top, top, hey, like one percent of streamers here. or something have access to it. It's kind of like a super chat in YouTube. I just want to check something quickly though. Um, hey, unlock the damn door. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hear her over my own headset. Does the does the punch where it hits the thing? <laughs> She keeps talking over it, annoying me. Yeah, it seems seems like it lines up. For? Let me in. That'd be the one thing. That's one thing an OBS does. I don't know why yet. It's about time. You what shut up! I was you? testing my audio. Um, actually, we've got a gun. We could test it with that, couldn't we? Hold on. Bang. Yeah, okay. Seems fine. Shoot your friend. Violence. What happened to these poor bastards? I don't know. They're dead, I guess. They died. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Hey, come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some distance between us and those bodies. Mm, delicious random tree thing that I found. It must be for healing, right? That's why the corpses are near it. Can I open the door? Over here. Me? Yes, I know. Thank you, lady. It does things because you're not playing Tales from the Borderlands yet. It's protesting. Well, today is a test for that because today I am trying to record with OBS and stream with OBS at the same time. And we're going to see how that goes. Because I wasn't doing that the other day. I was just streaming with it. Today I'm recording and streaming at the same time. It's Protus Butting Jania C Starcasm. Mm, that's good. I love it when Buttspot spells out emotes. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. This is bad with a side of broccoli. Broccoli ever did you? Nothing. Something my ma used to say. Mama. Okay. Demon. Nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Well, no, it was, it was just shooting at something. It's not like it was on you. Butts, 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 shilling, ban it. Like, I know it's, I know it's a tutorial. So, okay, by this point. So I have played again. It's probably been a week or so since the test stream that I did. And then I probably did uh, another five or six days since I actually streamed this last. But anyway, I have finished the campaign now on the character that I had off stream. Um, and I started another character on Apocalypse with a couple other people and we just keep getting wrecked but uh, it's not far into it it's literally the first world but I think it would be cool spoilers to have more missions and stuff in like daytime earth and I know that it was probably in the first game I didn't play the first game maybe I'll play the first game one day but it just seems pretty cool it just seems like a cool place to run around in aha I'm uh, starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. You know, the fact that we're down in like a sewer system is probably a good sign. Can you die quietly, please? Hey, look, a ladder.
Sorry, you'd never get me climbing off the end of a ladder with no sure way of getting back up. Just wouldn't happen. Just would not happen. Especially in this place. With this, everything that's going on. It ain't all gone after all. <sighs> nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We yeah. retrace our steps. Yeah. We can find another way out. Yeah. Oh no, demons. Uh, oh, this is not happening. Tell me this is not happening. This isn't happening. Ow! Ow, come down. Shoot this one. Protect me, NPC. Oh. No. Stabbed. It's goopy. It was just a magic trick. Not today, assholes. What do we say to the god hey, of death? This is three, by the way. Not if you don't actually save my life. Oh shit! New piercing hole. Yeah, I guess. Walking around with a ring the size of a hula hoop. Hey, listen. For what it's worth, you were a good friend. Oh, cheers. Ah, what a story friend. arc. We weren't friends, and now we're friends. Love how your backpack isn't damaged. Yeah, or all the chest plate that I'm wearing. Or any of that stuff. Or my clothes. Or I'm not coughing up blood. I'm still, you know, just kicking. Even though I had something almost the size of a flagpole go through my torso. That's fun. Pretty sure I said this last time, but... Yeah, let's just walk around the demons and be like, ooh, they're stopping for a second. I wonder why. Anyway, I'm going to touch them. It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, Stranger hold danger. up. We're friends. We're here to help. Uh, can't hold this forever, Bo. Cheers. Thanks, Matt. He's magic. Thanks. Who... Who are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three. One. No, just two. start shooting them now. They're frozen. Just start... Three! If you were going to kill him, why didn't you do it at the count of zero? Kill thief. That's all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, oh, well, we me. still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Okay. She sounds like she's been through some shit. Yay, teammates. Woo, teammates. <sighs> Rude or thick down here. Must be what yeah. I felt back at the ward. Wait. Mm. <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> she okay? Uh, maybe Santa's real, too. Yeah, Doesn't sound great. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're going to have to find another way out. And whose fault is that? Demon. I am better at bullets than all of you. This is 
Ain't looking good. Ah, looks all right. This guy's pretty shit. Oh. These are uh, tree aliens. Tree, tree, tra tralians. Tree xenomorphs. Tree no morphs. Yes. Tree no morphs. They're way weaker. Do 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 do. So from what I understand, this is like a while after the apocalypse, and everyone's kind of reverted to like a medieval state. Like yeah, there's guns and stuff, but oh. But it's like medieval sort of thoughts. Because I know one of the tooltips, it shows hardened iron. Which I got into a heated discussion with a friend of mine about whether or not it, that constituted a steel or not. And whether or not, like even though steel is an alloy and it has, you know, the combination of iron, it is hardened iron. And they're like, no, 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 that's just what they call steel because they don't know what steel is. Because it's been that long since the apocalypse. That it, they've taken on they like a medieval society. But they won't so it's like, this is iron. Fight. This is hard iron. Like, ooh, okay. It's fascinating there. Ah, something! Hello, Leana. Welcome, welcome. Ow, why, why just me? Pick on them. Pick on my teammates. him with the little gun. Ow! He throws shit? How dare you tell me to dodge things? Ow. No. No, thank you. Didn't cut that shit out. Shoot him in the red wits. No, fuck off. Let me reload. You don't like me. Ow! I thought he was going to attack. He did not. That was the attack. Let's go punch the fuck out of him. Yeah. And a trade point for the class I don't have yet. Wicked. Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. <gasps> Safer so, than any safe place? It's That's really amazing. real. Food and water and folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> He's still whoa, whoa, let me get you some more. <sighs> I'm fine. I... <sighs> I'm fine. I just have this... <sighs> Horrible Ooh, parasite. That looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone. We need to get her to the ward. Quick. The doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving before we lose the light. Hmm, indeed. still the same looking for grindy games to relax to there's there's some pretty decent ones out there there's some pretty decent ones out there this one's not bad this one's not bad it's um it's fun little little bit of grindy levelly change classes work as a team shooty bang bang but it's not um not exactly an mmo and you're trying to find a brick layer but that's eh too much hassle wonder if you ignore it the problem will go away trying to build a wall or repair a house or what's uh what kind of brick layer like Gavin from down the road that has done some he did his own little barbecue backyard thing or like or a house
person you contacted at the moment is a bit old, so probably not a sexy bricklayer. Yeah, that's fine. That's, uh, yeah, you do definitely lose a couple of points in that, that aspect, but you gain experience. Oh, oh dear. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. G'day, Riggler. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome Re to War repairs, 13. Repairs, repairs, always hey, repairs. Don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. She has root rot of the brain. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, You're just a hey, headache. Clementine, uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. That's your job, isn't oh, it? You're the water you're guy. You're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's, He's just trying mayor. to help. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Well. Listen, I'm going to check in with Ford. Okay. And then I'll get some rest. Okay? Okay. I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um... <clears throat> yeah, that's me. Your friend will be fine. Hmm? I'm Bo, Bo Ward. Now this it. is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but... The road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? A train fell on us. Nobody wants to take small jobs, and then you have to find somebody capable and sexy, which is hard. Well, I mean, only if they're sexy. But, um, yeah, I mean, depending on the, the depth of the repairs. If it's for a retaining wall, you kind of do want to get somebody that is going to make sure that they're, you know, worth their salt. But if it's for a, I don't know, a garden edging, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what would be a smaller repair. I'm trying to think of one, but yeah, there's varying degrees of, of quality. And of course, the girth of that retaining wall. Well, that too. Um, we're actually looking for you. We're looking for this ward. For the ward? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. Yeah. <laughs> we've just, uh, well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that, well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, Need something? Start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. But what if I want to talk to you? Oh, traveler. How's everything? You call me? If the bricks are crumbling, it doesn't mean it's urgent, right? Right? Yeah, 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 sure, yep. Mm -hmm. If they're crumbling, if they're crumbling, it's fine. If they go all soggy and squishy, then you got a problem. No one likes squishy bricks. Um, what's going on with Clementine? She's a wizard? Oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it. Not not even her. Oh. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. She's a wizard. Like like the sun after a storm. That's She's not... something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. The sun after a storm is not electric. Not how electric works. Is there something going on between you two? Between me and... Oh, I I, I don't... Um, <laughs> Come on. You get a crush on her, yeah? What? No, no, it's not... I don't. I mean, I, I do, but it's it's not like that. I... <sighs> have uh, Have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because oh, is it? No. I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know, but... The way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it it makes me want to do better. I I kind of want to make her proud, you know. I I guess you could say she's my my inspiration, maybe. That's cute. Oh, but don't don't tell her I said that. Though. I'm gonna tell her immediately. So are you are you the leader here? <laughs> I guess. I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda put me in charge. Well, 
Maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The Ward's the only family I've ever known. You're like 30. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. How are you, how were you a guard 20 years ago? Like, I would expect, like, maybe if you're 38, then it's like, mm, okay. But you don't look that old. Oh, uh, thanks. I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself, uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that. Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I smell bullshit. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the founder. He's been around for ages. Oh, he ain't much for leading himself. Hmm. <laughs> Earning the big bucks being able to buy an amazing large and large house with non crumbling bricks. But that's how you get all the all the extra little bonuses. You go get up in the morning, you walk out, and you see that there's little crumbs and stuff of bricks on the floor. You're like, ooh, treasure. Render. There's, there you go. Render it. If they're crumbling and you render it, then you don't have to look at them. They'll still crumble, but you'll have render over the top. You can paint it cool colors. So this Commander Ford that you mentioned is the founder's daughter, wife? Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the... Uh... The Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is. Oh. Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Are you the last hope now? Uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Oh. Uh -huh. You'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Right. That was how long has the founder been around exactly? I just hit the button too early. Let me take some more and see if I can find a surprise right in the middle of the bricks. <laughs> Big, large, red, fragrant roses. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? That's the dream. We've got, we've got a, a gardens, sort of in town that we can we can travel a bit to get to, and um, it has like a rose section, and they're all dead at the moment. Well, not dead, but there's no flowers on them at the moment. It's just you go into that area, and it's just a whole bunch of, uh, basically twigs sticking up out of the ground. But um, yeah, I do love the smell of roses. So, Boward, I was going to talk to you about something else. Uh, I really appreciated you saving us back there. Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. Yeah? I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Hmm. Well, how did you know where we were? Oh, uh, that was Wally. He he gave us a heads up someone was coming. Then okay. Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of uh, a root sense, I guess. Mm. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> and there you were. He knows where all the best roots are. Or how to, how to feel through a root. He's... He can predict roots something I try to order fragrant roses but it's hard to pick the kind of ones with two layers of petals instead of just one I don't like white roses though it reminds me too much of funerals yeah that's pretty sad yeah because there's only like a couple of there's only like a few colors of natural roses and then everything else is kind of like artificially spliced and whatever and grown and Spliced and grown and spliced and grown and... I mean, I suppose that that's... Could technically get them these days. Not died or anything, but... Root sense, is that what I saw Clementine do? No, no, that was... Something else. Something else. Uh, Clementine, she... 
She's a wizard. She's amazing, but she carries a lot on her own. <sighs> I don't know what all she sees, but I... Uh, we worry about her, is all. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So, um, what can you tell me about the ward itself? <laughs> I usually leave storytelling to Reggie. Or if you want some really wild tales, try Mudtooth. <laughs> now there's an old timer who can twist a yarn. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah, people here are friendly. <laughs> if you give them a chance, good luck. You know, you remind me so much of him. You mean Brad? My brother, actually. Though now that you mention it, you remind me of Brad too. Yeah, I know. I'm glad. My brother and my ex-husband were very similar. They had the same name and everything. View the map. Yes, it's a map of the ward. We talk to Ford. Well, this place looks empty without the big crystal in it. Up for discussion, Clementine. Oh. You're staying, and that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Ah. Uh, Hello. <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Whoa, what have we here? I'm a human. Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace. I'm a big said, white orb in the sky. Yes. Uh, the traveler. Right on you time. may call me. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. Rude? I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. You don't just meet someone and say, yeah, you look like you've been around. So you're, like, founder Ford? Like, like a boss man? In the flesh. Hmm. I thought you were a campfire story. Oh, I'm as real as a toothache. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's yeah. get to it. Hmm. You first. Uh, okay. If you built this place, how are you alive? That was hundreds of years ago. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Mm. Let's keep it to this. You know okay. how some things you drink can make you drunk? Yes. And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Yes. Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. He ate He ate the fruit. We know about the fruit. We know about the fruit. Because if, well, I mean, if you, if you haven't watched any of the older FODs that are probably now delisted and in a playlist somewhere. We know about the Asia fruit that make you live forever. Can I have some inf immortal fruit? Huh. Huh, huh. Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. I want a pony and a bottle rocket. So... What kind of favor were you talking about, anyway? Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. Right. And you were expecting me? Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Just because there's always someone coming? I mean, theoretically, if you want to think about it, in the world right now, there's probably thousands of people coming. Right. <clears throat> anyway. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Mm. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. Ah, you just hoped I was coming. Or in my life. So how does uh how does old Wally know I was coming? Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like Somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. Ah, dreams about things that hadn't come. They're called nightmares. Your lovely gold metal roses. The one uh, That one kind of died, and I don't know why. I think maybe my gutter was leaking into it. Maybe it made the ground too wet. You need to repair your gutter this year too. Too many repairs. Yeah, that's that's a fact of life, unfortunately. Sucks. 
I think roses may get root rot if you water them too much. Hey, you, there's the worlds collide. We were just talking about root rot. So, old Wally, he can see the future. He knows who's coming. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. That's useless. What? You see really far into the present sometimes. So it's more of like a psychic thing? I'd like to know more about the people living here. Anyone in particular? No, not really. Um, why were you and Clementine fighting? Arguing's not the same as fighting. Well... Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Hmm, okay. So, her abilities hurt her, right? Nosebleeds, headaches, and I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. Mm. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. That's fair. Bo... <coughs> Bo seems very young to be mayor. Compared to who? That's true. <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. I could was parents. Sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. I also liked Olympic Torch for a rose. It was my favorite pink colored rose. I had Princess Monaco also, but that plant seemed to attract more aphids than any other. It's weird how aphids do that. They know what they want. They'll be like, mm, this plant is good. Albatross has a whole bunch of plants and occasionally we have to quarantine them because there will be an aphid that will come home and then there will be a lot of aphids and then we'll have to get rid of those aphids. Aphids are the, world, uh, are the worst. Vampires of the plant world, yes. Uh, is, uh, is old Riggler really as nice as he seems? Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does. And we're damn thankful. Okay. I might have some other things to ask. All right, then. Shoot. Bang, 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 bang. That's it All for right, now. Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. Okay. You'll find him out by the docks. Okay. After that, gear up and then meet me at the ward gate. Okay. I'll tell you a story. Okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll be back. I mean, ward. When you're desperate, you have to use detergent, but it dries the leaves out. Kills all of them, though. Hmm. I'm supposed you could put it in, like, a... Would you, do you use it straight? Or do you put, like, a bit of detergent in, like, a spray bottle and then mist it on? This guy looks like a demon. I need to talk to Wally. Literally a tree in the botanic gardens that you sit under and they fucking fall on you to be taken somewhere else. Yeah. And the spiders. Mmm, they're fun. Just dropping on you randomly. You think you water the detergent down? Might have been aphids. I need to do that with soap for, but I didn't use detergent. Hmm. Especially insecticide soap. You can use it's less harmful. But other side, maybe a teaspoon or two in a full 500 meter, 500 mil, 500 meter bottle. Wow. 500 mil bottle. And it might still be too harsh. Fair enough. You need to get powdery mildew and then you need to use milk, but not sure if it worked. The spots are still there, but they haven't grown. I see you, traveler. Yep, I'm right here. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. What do you, what are you on about? You know. And you don't. Thanks. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. 
Mm, no. No, Ford did though. Um, yeah, he told me to see you. You have a path to walk. You choose mm -hmm. the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Mm. Now we pick our class. So, we have the medic. It can do medic y shit. It comes with an LMG. We have the hunter. It can do hunter y shit. And it comes with a sniper rifle. The challenger. He comes with armor and resurrects himself and can do challenger shit. The handler. He comes with a dog called Chewbacca. Well, maybe Chewbacca. And he can handle sh shit. Well, that's probably not the right. Moving on. The engineer. They uh, come from a sci-fi world and have a high-tech turret and stuff. The alchemist comes from Bloodborne and can get angry and throw vials of stuff at the ground. I have not played as the alchemist, I just have them unlocked. The explorer. They have a shovel. And a beret. The invader. They're Genji if Genji was an alien and can like teleport and ninja their way around and do some pretty wild shit. The Gunslinger. It's high noon, apparently. It's 2.47. The Summoner. They are also a tree and can make babies. The Archon. It's, it's, it's just a Stormcaller from Destiny. They can do Stormcaller-y shit. Even the armor looks like Stormcaller armor. And there's a Medic again. But, our choice for the beginning of all these different classes is going to be Shovel Knight because we're starting on a harder difficulty and it gives us a bit of a head start beating enemies rewards more valuable items and yep. that makes a lot of sense now does it? okay cool seems like the right path you're right of course your path is waiting tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you they have what you need they're the next step on your journey until next time. The Realm Walker Beret, Tunic, Gloves, and Pantaloons. Traveler? Me. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Good. NPCs throughout the world in Ward 13 can be used to craft new items, weapon mods, boss weapons, armor, etc. Each, each crafting recipe has a number of required materials plus scrap which are required to craft them. Merchants buy and sell items for scrap. Merchants in Ward 13 sell a variety of items, including weapons, armor, consumables, and even stew. Why that's as important as weapons, armor, and consumables, I don't know. Other merchants can be found within the game world selling a number of unique items. But I can also buy the other class items here. So those other classes that you saw, because you can dual class, when I get enough scrap, I can buy one of them. And I can dual Until class. Next time. He has a jigsaw puzzle. It's very cool. I like jigsaw puzzles. Until I get bored of them and then they're in the way. And then I feel bad about packing them up and breaking them up. So I get stuck with a table with jigsaw puzzle on it. Why does he have so many sandbags? That seems weird. Why does he have sandbags up here? That's a lot of sandbags, bud. That's, uh... Why do you have so many sandbags up here? In a busted up shipping container. Halfway up a crane. That's very odd. Got a good little setup. I don't mind the look of it. Looks alright. To make sure it doesn't fly away in the wind. Ah, yes, of course, of course. The uh, the age-old problem of well, I don't think it's even a shipping container, but the age-old problem of giant chunks of crane flying away in the wind. I think Dark Desire is my kind of pink. It seems to be a running theme of Earth Angel types. Ones that are just a chaos of petals and look more like shredded paper than flower. Hmm. Hello. So we are the explorer. We have a cape. Uh, but one of the reasons that I picked 
this class. I don't have the thing yet. I gotta talk to this dude. I'll show you in a sec. I'll bet Riggs can help me out. I don't know who that guy is. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Yep. Well, he told me to see you. He said you're the next step. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. Is he a I wizard? don't reckon he was any more specific. Did you know? Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. Yeah? If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna Gun. talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? He's told. Fine. Go see mm. Riggs, then. Yeah. Tell him he can do whatever he the hell he wants. Do ya? Yeah. Well, at least you weren't talking all the, the whole time I was talking to old mate this time. But, we have Ford Scattergun, which is a shotgun that has an interesting spread to it. Uh, my primary skill is running faster, but that's a good ability when, you know, the healer can literally put down a healing rift and the challenger can stomp the ground and do really cool, like, explosive shit and Hunter can mark enemies through walls for a distance and do more damage to them and my ability is increase movement speed. That's pretty great. Pretty happy with it. Love running fast. Um... As for our chest pieces, so I'm currently wearing, like, it's light. Okay, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here, right, light. Fast dodge, no stamina cost penalty. So none of these are going to have a stamina cost penalty at the moment anyway, right? Because I'm not um, in combat, and you only lose stamina if you're in combat. But if I if I try to find... What, what, how much weight have I got to play with? Four. If there's any of my armor... This is only four higher. See, that's 25, so it's still light. But, if I put these gloves on, then I'm heavier, because it goes up above 25. You know how to count. You know how numbers work. Um, but I have these weapons. This is, like, just a better version of the starter pistol, basically. Um, but this sword, this sword is very cool. I'm very, very excited about the sword. The sword is, is a reference to Link's sword from the tale of Link rescuing Zelda again and again. You know the game. Because I can do that. That's fucking sick. Now that does use stamina. But again, only if I'm in combat. Maybe just need to Ping probably helped my gun. It's very cool. Going down the rabbit hole of roses. Hey, look, we will uh, we will have to find some and grow some. We'll have to talk to Le Leanna about all of the different ways to take care of them. Step one: don't put them under a leaky gutter. Learn that today. Good day, Riggler. Oh, friend! <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? You're a Riggler, yeah? That's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. Nope. Call me Riggler. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. Interesting thing. He says that his specialty is armor and weapon upgrades. You don't upgrade your armor. At all. And he doesn't even sell different types of armor. Whispers outside, which is a different dude, he sells armor. Robbers told me to see you next. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Um, he said you were going to talk his ear off if you didn't? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Brabus. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Okay. Some characters can upgrade your items with materials found in the world or by defeating enemies. Upgrading is essential to keeping up with increasingly difficult enemies in the game. Yeah, it is. It's good. There's, there's enemies and there's some game. I 
cannot upgrade the sword because I don't have enough shit. So I'm not going to upgrade anything. So long. G'day, McCabe. I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Uh, actually, Wally sent me. He told me that you are the next step. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. All right, so what the hell is this journey? Fox me. I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Explosives. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Yes. Maybe I could do something with it. Eat it. Albatross just showed me a picture of some roses that she's been looking at, and they're like Dalmatian roses. They are Dalmatians in rose form. They are adorable. Uh, Hotshot sets fire to things. Um, slow shit down. Cussive shot. Blast shit. Does a whole bunch of blast shit damage. And uh, healing shot will help keep me alive. Now, as much as I would love all these other ones, healing shot is probably a good idea to get. Um, um, actually, how much do they all cost? That's 600, that's 450, that's 750, that's 1250. This one's cheap. Let's just do this one. There. I can use it more often. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just mm. tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah. So we're done here, Try. right? Or do I need the hammer again? Isn't your whole thing that you're like a smith or something? I have a couple of questions. Uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on. We used to live in that building over there. Oh, then yeah. a stranger came. We called them the Wanderer. You might have noticed everyone gets a handle here. Anyway, they show up and stop the route. Now, we live in these buildings here. That clear it up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. Okay. I'll see you later then. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Ah, uh, hyper -focus. me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. Yep. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me, and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Well, thank you. Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. All right, sounds good. Anyway, she's violent. You fucking love the Dalmatian roses, they're like lollipops. I hope it goes back to Trelaw. My favorite site to use. They're extremely reliable and professional and their roses don't die. I tried Knight's Roses this year because I was late and one of them had completely dry roots by the time they'd arrived and another cut the roots back way too much. I think one of them won't actually grow. Oh, that's fucked. That sucks. I had better luck buying roses from Big W than Knight's. So I'm get Knight's is like a big, a big like online plant shop or are they like a chain of, of nurseries or something? Um, but yes, we have we have guns, we have traits, we have things. Swiftness, I can't put points in. Vigor for health, stamina, spirit for mod power generation, and then skill cooldown. I think I'll put it in mod power generation for now. Because then we can get our mods back quick, yeah? Oh, Brav has got to polish his stuff more. You can't get straight with it. It still takes four shots to get that up. How, how many times can we stack it? That's the question. One slug at a time? Oh, wait. Okay, cool. One at a time. It's a South Australian store. Trelora's Victorian, I think, and better. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, so we can only stack that two times. Why is it all charged up and, like, cool looking? Is that because it's... The mod's ready to go? Oh! That does a big blast. Okay. Uh, 
good for big game, but uh, not so much for wild game. Albatross has just gotten up. I think she's just wandered off to the kitchen, but she'll be back momentarily. Now you look like you could help an old man take on the world. Okay. <laughs> you ready to do this? Maybe. I mean, sure, let's go. Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. Indeed. Let's see. Do you want to get my Tim Tams? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't help close the door. I don't know why we need to. I don't know why we need to close the vault door. Are we afraid someone's going to sneak in behind us? Huh. Still smells like home. Hmm. Yes, moldy mildew and decay Here, and dust. Take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. One of those old ones. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. Yeah. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Bro. Not before nor since. Mm. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Sorry, mate. Even I've been here for like to them. literally Don't 10 minutes. Want. We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to wall, know about them. <laughs> okay. It was a that matter was of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the root found a way. After that, well, huh. we are locked, huh? Well, he this didn't even is let himself house. finish the sentence. Come on, I gave Ellen a few things oh, to look at him go. hang on to in case of emergency. So from the she must have hidden it around here somewhere. The trailers that I've seen, this was the Come like on, Ellie, town, and I like how outside is the town in this one. This area was the town in the first game. But I haven't actually played it, so I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure this is the area. Sucks to water plants and they arrive in a poor shape. Sucks to butt to butts and they arrive in poor shape. That too, butt spot, that too. Finding something reliable is so important. Wondering if I could grow a rose inside. Don't they need like tons of light? is here it is treasure the glow didn't totally give it away that red thing we call it oh, oh, a down. dragon heart go. <laughs> don't ask why why Take it with you. you might need it why is it called dragon heart come on let's go fuck me dead dude chill out there you are hurry up i don't appreciate you but I also know, cheeky cheeky in advance, uh, that hey, the key. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I know, thanks, bud. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Yep, old key. Could replace your windowsill succulents with the roses. Yeah. <gasps> Is that the the world stone? Yes. Or part of it, anyway. What do you mean? Every shard's as useful as the whole. It's got a big top on it. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, Why would you think that mind. would still work? What is that magic cube? Nah. Let's Wanna. see if that worked. Work Steal the cube. Do what? Exactly.
I think we should just replace the kitchen with more plants. Holy shit. They can be the plant room. And we don't really need the kitchen. So many years. So many journeys. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if the Andrew Ford who first touched this crystal. Did he ever come back? Go back. Mm -hmm. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More Why, dangerous than useful, traveler. Remember that. Did Wally not tell you... <laughs> What was going to happen? Ford? I guess not. Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Bo is going to be pissed. Hmm? That bastard did it. He actually woke it up. Did he? Clementine? Hey. Get his little cube. Did he tell you how to use it? Did he leave it on the thing? Do I even want to? Don't touch the cube. System oh, failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Oh no. Clementine! Don't let go! Uh... Ah, I'm slipping! Don't let it take me! Go! Like Stargate, if Stargate was a big rock. <sighs> shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, shit! Oh no, 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 don't do it! Don't you do it! You could tell people first. No, oh, this is so stupid! <sighs> Go in, okay. You don't know what's gonna happen, you have no idea of that crystal. We know about this crystal literally as much as this character does. More so, technically. But story-wise, we know as much as this character does. She doesn't know what the fuck just happened. The session is now joinable. Well, it's private, so... It should be private anyway. We are in a big cave. This isn't Yesha. This isn't the beautiful tree place. That's right. We're in the rood. And I don't know which story we have, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Just uh, gonna run over this way. Oh yeah, these, 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 these come into it. Also later, I don't have the key. In the rude? No, in na rude. Clementine. Ford. Shit. Where are you guys? Oh, this is all insane. Both the crystal and Ford. Ugh. Everything's nuts. Well, better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. Yep. Nah, rude or nah, rude. Yep. Both of them. Nah, rude. Sandstorm. Do -do 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 -do. Door. Your coffee will be ready in a minute. Please take a seat in the rude. Forgotten prison. I kind of like this place because it's like, like not story-wise, but visually, it's kind of a mix between the Aliens franchise and the Matrix, the the more Earth side of Matrix, not the, not the um, not the cool trippy part, but the the crappy Earth human people like people are like batteries and whatever. Hello, I'm gonna say headless robot. But I can't actually be sure. They are terminals. I keep saying these look like terminals to people. 
Um, why would I think to interact with this? This is a wall. How many gigabytes is Remnant 2? I don't know. Especially for PC, I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. It's not tiny. It's not tiny. But I'm not sure how big it is. What is this? This is me. Not Drazir. Who's Drazir? Some work of that damn custodian. Okay. No, no. Something else. A sentient thing. We bled ourselves in search of you. Okay. Yet here, at the end of all things, you have found us. You were looking for me? Sought, but did not see. Or perhaps I refused to see. Years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that I never dreamed possible. Yet some things remain out of reach. Okay. Tell me, my world, precious Nerud, what has become of it? I have no idea, man. I only just got here. Oh, it's only 80 gigabytes. I feel like every game these days is like 120. Baldur's Gate's 120. Starfield would be 100 to 140. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 is more of a dating sim than Bioware games. It's hilarious. I have heard. I have heard. I'm pretty keen for that. It's not out on Xbox yet, so I haven't I haven't given it a go, but I've seen bits and pieces, and it looks it looks really, really cool. It looks really, really cool. Um, I'm very keen for Starfield too. Starfield's very close. Um, the Cyberpunk expansion that is supposed to overhaul the game and everything is close, which means I'll finally play through St uh, Cyberpunk. Even though I got it at launch, I haven't played through it because I was like, I'll wait until it's all patched, and apparently this is going to be the patch. Um, uh, yeah. Even with this, with this, I haven't... I've specifically, when I have been playing through it as other characters or with other people, I specifically haven't been paying attention to the story, so I have no real idea of most of the lore of what's going on. I just shoot at things until I move on to the next place. But now I'm, I actually get to the story. I've been saving it. Lots of, lots of games. Like, this is this is a lot more straightforward conversation-wise than something like Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield, but um, there are definitely decisions you can make and different outcomes to things. I'm not sure, man. I just got here. And yet you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? Uh, no, no. No, do not answer. I see it now. At the edge of my mind. Hmm. But, but, but I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common, then. We are cut off from our people, and we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Tora. I don't know what that is. While yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured, our fates bind us together. So I ask a favor. Okay. And will offer one in return. Yes. On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, mm -hmm. as I was, mm -hmm. from the cruelty of Alepsis Tora. I don't know what that is, still. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir. Okay. Our last remaining legacy. Sure. Find them and bring them to me. But not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. Okay. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astropaths. Don't know what that is. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Baldur's Gate 3 won't be out on Xbox till next year because of split-screen issues. That's all right. I'm happy to wait. It, it looks really good, and I'm sure that, like, it's just... It's only going to be even better by that point because there might be certain things that might need to be patched or 
they might have released new updates and things like that so I'm, I'm excited for it but I mean if you take something like Cyberpunk or Elden Ring as an example I'm more than happy to wait for a game to be fully cooked you know um, what is it with this year in good games yeah oh yeah yep very much so very much so I mean this this has rave reviews as well I don't know if you know much about this the sci-fi level that I'm on so when you start you start your character and when you go through that red crystal that I went through you can go to one of three different realms and then you can also within those realms have multiple different storylines that you could be sort of rolled it could be rolled for you so there's all these different adventures that you can go on in each each uh, realm um, so last time when I started a character I rolled in a uh, like tree planet type of thing with like floating rock platforms and you go on through this big forest and there's all sorts of creatures in the forest and stuff and um, there's like tribes people and huts and all sorts of stuff and then there's like a third one that is um, it's kind of like it's all about the fae and you're going through like fae castles and stuff and the fae are like invading what can only really be simply described as like a, a bloodborne town like like an old victorian city um and it's very fantastical and stuff and very like there's lots of crazy stuff there and like wisps and, and traditional fantasy stuff it's very cool it's very cool how it like bridges the gap between them um yeah i i i I'm a big fan of this game, and I, I highly recommend it to anybody that has the opportunity to play it for whatever reason. Fantasy has, like, certain hot vampire men, and sci-fi has robots, so it's no contest, unfortunately. I mean, you play the Mass Effect series, there's definitely some parallels there. Can I ask you some questions, Mr. Uh, Gaseous Cloud Man? <sighs> ask them... Have you seen a friend that I'm looking for? You have seen what remains of my world. Nothing lives save you and I. You will not find what you seek here. Right. So what happened to your people? Pride. We scraped the heavens for answers. As if it owed us an explanation. In our thirst for answers, we doomed ourselves. Alepsis Torah consumed us and spat out the remains. Alepsis Torah. Okay. Um. So, what do you mean you searched for me? Actually, no. What is Alepsis Torah? On its surface, Alepsis Torah is a supermassive black hole. But it is so much more it's than that. Time. It does not behave like any black hole ever known, and we know, for we have catalogued millions. There is an order to Alepsis Torah. Direction. Purpose. Right. So it's like a sentient black hole? You can kind of direct sexy vampire man to feed on you at night. No cutscene, unfortunately, which was kind of disappointing. You do get the bloodless debuff and a minus one penalty to rolls, though. I'm taking back his blood drinking privileges. So what's the bonus? Is it just forward the... the, um... like the romance options with him? Or does it make him more powerful in fights? To sort of counteract your minus one? What do you mean you searched for me, Mr. Gascloud? Enough! Okay, I'm sorry. You must seek the soul sparks. Nothing else matters. Too much time has passed, and the fate of Nerud draws ever closer. Right. That's it then, is it? You return without the Drazir's legacy. Why? I didn't return, I just wanted to keep talking to you. Can I, can I talk to you? No. Okay. You must have what remains of our legacy. Alright then. Okay, I guess I've asked enough questions then. I'm done. Goodbye, gas man. Aha. You don't know, actually. You might have to investigate the first time you catch him, though. Had a delightfully awkward interaction where he was trying to sneak up on you. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. So it's not that you're like... 
He's like, I'm a vampire trying to be good. And you're like, no, it's okay. You can feed on me. He's literally just like, fuck it, I'm going to feed on you. Just got to find these soul sparks. But where are they? I don't know. The music's very, um, Stranger Things. It's very, it's very synthy. I like it. I like it. I do love a good synth, a bit of synth music. That's a cool statue. I like that. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the issue. We have a shotgun, um, and we're going up against robots, and we're doing that kind of damage from range. We do kill them real quick when they're very close, but they shoot, so they're probably not gonna. Ah, actually, hold on. Yeah, you know what? That does the job. That does the job. He was trying to be stealthy about it. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Is there anything under here? Cheeky, cheeky stuff. There's something else about this game is that there's a lot to explore now. The outdoors of Nerud, while it does have quite a quite a lovely skybox that does give me um, it does give me a uh, uh, tattered shore vibes. Tattered shore? Fuck, that hasn't been in Destiny for so long. I can't even remember what it's called. Tattered shore, I want to call it. The the. The place that came with Forsaken that wasn't the Dreaming City. It gives me those vibes. Like, almost like big Vex Gate in the Sky thing, and and then, like, it's all purple sandy, asteroidy crap, and a big... Okay, there's a big fucking hole in the ground that I didn't remember. But it is, um... It is, um... Uh, free roaming within a zone, and if you go too close to the edge of these zones, your character <gasps> doesn't like it. And they spew everywhere. They get very sick. What if there's treasure down there? Ah, uh, there's not. There's death. And death is a treasure for us all. I guess. Oh, shit. I feel like I should be using the pistol and the sword. Like, if they're that close. Hmm. The final treasure? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Fuck, the aim's gotta be... There's no aim assist on the sword. I really got to place it, you know? Can I get on top of those? Can I climb this? I can. Now that I can stream in better quality, though, I'm, I'm pretty excited about um, being able to finally get into a lot of RPGs that I wanted to, to play at a higher quality. Like, Mass Effect is one of my favorite series ever. Dragon Age, I want to get back into, because I have... I did play through Dragon Age 1. I haven't played Dragon Age 2 at all. And um, Dragon Age Inquisition, like, I played through the main storyline, but I've got the DLC sitting there, and I never ended up playing that. That was a fair few years ago now. Shit. Shit, I'm getting shot already. Run fast button, go. It uses all my stamina, which is what I need for my sword, so this is good. Okay, uh, maybe we swap to the pistol. Oh, this is going to be rougher than we thought it would be. What is that? What is that? Is that a demon? Get out of here, demon. Ah, uh, demon. Why is there a demon? Um, shotgun. Ability, go. Nope, okay. No, 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 please. Ow! Ow! Um, no, 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 no. Can you... Ow! Oh, I'm fucked. This is good. No, thank you. Eh. What's that? Ah! No. Okay, dead demon. Ow. Still hurt. Oh, fuck was that? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, if you're streaming RPGs, I'll try and catch you. I love RPGs. Did you upgrade your setup for stream? We're trialing OBS. Yes, yes. Finally. Finally trialing OBS. So instead of going through... Like, we did try OBS once in the past. And... Uh, uh, 
a, a, an issue happened with it that I didn't know how to fix and it gave me a bit of a once bitten twice shy type of situation so I didn't go back um, Here they come. but more recently I was like fuck it let's do that and um, here we are but yeah I want to go through some RPGs I want to do I want to do some Bioware stuff I want to do um, I want to mod the fuck out of Fallout 4 and do a proper Fallout 4 run with mods and stuff on it I want to do um, um, stuff like uh, ooh, what is that I can hear another one are you shooting rockets? Um, I want to do some, um, like Persona 5, um, you know, maybe Final Fantasy, like, looking at different stuff that's on Game Pass. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see what, what comes of it. There's quite a, quite a variety of different things there. I've never, I've never played, like, I've played a little bit of Final Fantasy 10. Um, off and on through through an old housemate, and um, I've never played any of the Persona games. There's some other stuff as well, like Greedfall looks good. Ah, I'm fucking so out of fucking materials. This is. I don't know if I can fight my way through this area with the shit that I've got. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in trouble. They're such good shots. God, fuck off. That's it. Of course I'm out of bullets. Mm. Wrong gun. That hurt. That hurt him a bit. We've got to get real close to him. We can actually hurt him. Oh my god, there's other drones here. He got too close. Yep. There's no aim assist on that. Yep, there's still no aim assist on it. Oh God. Pick up the ammo. Ow, were. Everything hurts so much. <laughs> That's it. Persona 5 was amazing too. It's honestly great. Final Fantasy 10 was my favorite Final Fantasy. A very good taste. Well, thank you. Thank you. I feel like... Because, okay. So you're a big fan of Final Fantasy 14, yeah? Um, So obviously it's not on Xbox. But I've heard many, many good things about it. Um, from a lot of different people over the years. Um, I don't... Like, I've never... I've never really seen much of, like, the MMO side of it. Whenever I see anything about it, it's showing off how good it is of people just sort of playing by themselves. 14 is a great MMO until you get to end game and there's nothing to do. Ah, oh, righto. Oh. That warm up sound is uh, a whole swarm of enemies coming in, so I'm going to go up here. We'll have a little bit of... Oh, fucking ghosts again. Ow. Ow. Too many. They chew through all my ammo. It's bullshit. Now I have no healing either. I need to get to a bonfire. Or whatever. Oh my god, stop it. Stop popping out of the ground. Whew. Your Savage Raiding friend is a lot more of a Lost Ark Raider than a Final Fantasy XIV Raider at the moment. Is Lost Ark still good? Because I heard a lot about it when it launched, and then nothing. I just I didn't hear anything about it ever again. Is Lost Ark's the Amazon one, is it? It came out, and it was like... Everyone's everyone's landing on a place, and... 
does a bunch of stuff and things. <laughs> Hello, Pion. It's been a long time. See you in the ground there. Hey, how you doing, Pion? Just talking about um, Come on. Come on. good, good RPGs. They could be MMOs, they could not be MMOs, but basically just good RPGs in general. Oh, for fuck's sake. Better way to kill him, just take him on head on. One day I'll get across this fucking desert. I think I need my tried and true old lever action rifle. Lost Ark is grindy, very grindy. There's nothing else to do but raid. So if you have a lot of time and love to raid, Lost Ark is great. Right, that is the... I am thinking of the right one, am I? The one that's like... Kind of conquistadory and you everyone's landed on like a new land. And you can take over different outposts as like PvP stuff. You like Dead Cells and Souls games if you count those as RPGs, of course. Uh, Dead Cells is definitely more of a roguelite. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things... Taste is taste, so if you prefer roguelites, then you're still leveling up a character. You're just playing through similar stuff again and again. Ooh, scavenger perk. Beautiful. Give it that scrap. There's like a whole downstairs to this area too. Here they come. Because I mean, this is this is Soulsy um, in a number of different ways, um, but it has it has really solid gunplay in it as well. So it's like a nice middle ground. Hmm. Was there even anything down here? What was that new ability? What did I get? Scavenger. Pickups increase all damage by 0.5% per stack for 20 seconds. Additional stacks increase duration by up to 60 seconds. Max 5 stacks. Okay. Fair, fair. And here. More robot. Ah, there he is. Feel like... Fuck is that noise? That sounds like demons. Oh, it's a fucking ghost again. Shit. There's too many. Oh, fit. Fit on it. Looks like I'm full up. <sighs> Glad that's over. You don't know if it counts as role playing, but you love hand simulator. That's. I guess that's a different kind of role playing. You're really stretching it there, though. Elden Ring was 125 hours. Wow, that's uh, that's uh, that's a solid playthrough. Pretty good. You're all playing as a hand, yeah, or an alien trying to figure out how hands work. I'm I'm pretty keen for Elden Ring to be honest. Like that's another game that I um I'm sort of waiting on, waiting on the DLC and stuff. Is this where I came from? This isn't because I can see a crystal there, right? 
Or is this? No, this is where I came from, isn't it? Is it? No, is it? No. Yeah, it is. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna go back the way I came then. Go back this way. I hope they won't induce a frenzy dragon. Or introduce a frenzy dragon. Um, so frenzy's like the the different type of magic or something that's in it. Yeah, it like sends you nuts. Like RNG, like chaos type of thing. Yeah. And are there more drones over there? Did I even find any treasure there? Is there nothing at this station? I don't see any, like, special dots on the map or anything. Do I see anything to... More underneath that goes that way. Let's go that way. Or at least see if we can. Where was it? This way? Hold on. Where was it looking? This way. Oh, something saw me and wants to shoot me. Oh, and he's alerted everybody. Good. Damn it. Ow. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm fucking fucked. I don't have any healing either. Oh, there's so many! Ah! Well. Back to the campfire we go. Uh, okay. The yellow stuff, it works like bleed, but also takes away FP and stuns you. Louis is tell he's having a great time. <laughs> no heal run, looking fun. I ran out of heals. That's the biggest problem. I completely underestimated the ghost that took away most of my heals. That was fun. All right. Come and get some. No, 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 don't, don't say come and get some. Don't, don't bait the enemies. Oh. I really use my sword when they're that close, but it's alright. Oh, good job. Got him. Nope, that didn't work. No aim assist on the sword. Fucking... Go away! I don't know if I'm setting off an alarm because I don't kill them quick enough or what. Baiting enemies is always the best strat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Piss off everything in the vicinity. Annoy everything. Because then, at least you know where they're all coming from. No one can sneak up on you, right? He has shield. I don't like that he has shield. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Ah, good. That works quite well, as long as there's only one of them. Do you have a gun with a taunt skill on it? Uh... <laughs> you, you can, depending on what class you pick and how you build your character, um, because it is it is a game that is built ah, uh, for three people. Um, and you do generally want to have somebody running as a tank. So yes, you can. To, oh my god, what is that? Holy shit. Kill all the little things. No, stop spawning in new little things. That's terrifying. Um. Ha ha ha, that hurts a lot. Oh, it hurts a lot. He needs to be dead right now. That is not the way to handle those enemies. Ooh.
Ooh, ah. You didn't know shooters had tanks? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one this one plays fully into that. Like you play you can play medic, you can play tank, like the tank. Um there are taunt abilities. There are you know different weapons will do, you can put different modifications on them. Like at the moment, because I've literally like level one or level two, I have the starter stuff. Like my gun at the moment has um that concussive shot. Which is basically like an extra shotgun blast kind of thing. Um But you can you can dual class, so you can have your second class over here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different rings and amulets and things to equip, um, and different abilities to unlock and different perks to to put in, and a lot of different stat bonuses and things that you can upgrade. It's very very in depth. It's very very in depth. If there's a hero class, I think about hopping in. I usually like playing support and MMOs. Same same. Okay. That's what I've been playing a lot of um, on the character that I've been playing off stream. I actually play as a healer. Um, and you can have a dog. You can play a healer with a dog um, as a companion. Or you can play no dog, but it's really up to you. It was a welcome beam of friendship. Don't think of it as hurting, but rather a warm, fuzzy feeling. Yep, yeah, a warm, fuzzy feeling that separates my life from my body. How thick is the big boy tank? Very. Very. Very, very, very. Um, he can do all sorts of different things. I mean, it really depends on how you build them. So you can build a tank to do have also have a dog because the dog can go into one path that has. Um, ah, fuck! That's bad. There's gonna be other ads here too. Ah, shooting the fuck out of me. Okay, we're gonna tag this. We're gonna try this. Is Deja vu, except there's now a bigger thing in here. No, thank you. Ow. At least it's not ghosts this time, but I don't know what's worse. Ooh. I picked this class to start off with because you can pick all different classes and you can unlock different classes and there's all sorts of secrets and weapons. That was rough. You name it. Um, I picked this one because he is... or she is... Um, a... Um, it's all about loot. About getting more loot. My ability is a bit shit in the beginning. It's just a run fast button. But you get more loot as, as time goes on. So you get more... Um, more materials for upgrades and things like that, which definitely help later. So you're like, iron here, I'm only getting one. But later on, this character will have more iron drop from enemies and things like that. Another warm, fuzzy friendship beam? Yes, very much so. Get out of here, you. And it is um, procedurally generated to an extent. Not like, you know, Minecraft randomness, but... Um, Damn it. Oh, fuck off you. He has some long range shit going on. That's bullshit. Run fast button, go. Oh, fuck off. Bad. Ow. Oh, there's enemies behind me. No, no, let me escape. I want to heal. Oh. Ow, pain. Oh my god. I feel like I'm backing into a chasm. Metal detector, new perk, excellent. Ah, ah. Forgot to mention you also like Vermintide 2 if that's an RPG. I mean, that's going down more the path of something like Left 4 Dead. 
And if you wouldn't call Left 4 Jet dead in RPG, but I suppose you do unlock perks and stuff. I don't know. It depends on where you draw the line on RPGs. I'm pretty liberal with it. I mean, my About Me section is pretty liberal with what an RPG is. If you've ever, if you've ever read that section of of my bio on Twitch, you'll know that I'm I'm very liberal with uh, what I consider an RPG. But a lot of people are pretty steadfast <laughs> as to what is and what isn't. Increase ammo, currency, and metal drop rate for the entire party by 10%. Excellent. You looked it up and it said role-playing, so I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. It's too big. Ah, story of my life. Don't you dare say that's what she said. I didn't. I thought about it, but then uh, I said something different that meant basically the same thing. You have an about me section or a bio or something? Whatever they're called. Yeah, I do. I don't think anybody on okay. Twitch ever reads okay. any of them. So I, I'm not surprised if no one's actually ah, seen any of mine, but um, I did write it a long time ago and it's just sat there. I haven't bothered updating it. But it's quite liberal with what an RPG is. About Jack Lepara Day, 402 followers. So did you just copy and paste like the page? Oh, no, 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 the bigger one. So the one that it actually talks about what an RPG is. These guys are zombies. Oh, fuck. That hurt. That's my face. I need that. Oh, they drop goop. I don't like that. I don't know what that debuff with an X on my skull means, but I'm assuming it means dead. I am Jack. I play anything that could be considered even a little bit of an RPG. I see a therapist because of Ark Survival Evolved. Her name is Stevie and she is a Velociraptor. I talk to NPCs like a disappointed parent. I believe Mass Effect 3 was okay, but just okay. I think the first Bioshock had two of the biggest twists in gaming. Yeah, I stand by that. Although through through uh, rose-colored glasses, I do feel that uh, uh, Mass Effect 3 was good. Probably probably a bit better than okay, but it was it was alright. It was alright. Don't stand in the goop. Oh, ow, that hurt a lot. Okay, you copy in the whole thing. We don't need we don't need the whole thing, just the RPG bit. I actually woke up next to a nug in Dragon Age Origins. That I did. That I did. The brothel lied to me. They said, Do you want something more exotic? I said yes, and then they decided that that meant a a pig. I enjoy chats about game design and explaining to Serana the reason that we could never be together. Hey! Back off, I'm reading things. Uh, I prefer first person over third person most of the time. Yeah, but I still like third person. It really depends on the game. I do need to update some of that. I used to do voiceovers for radio commercials here in Australia. That's true. I occasionally like to speak mouth words good. That is also good true. I had my first taste of video games playing Alex the Kid in Miracle World on the Sega Master System 2. That is also true. Yeah. I have a long list of games I need to catch up on, and I plan on doing it here. Yeah. Glad yeah. yeah, I got the shotgun for zombies. At least that's good. I wonder what second person's like. Um, okay, this I is looked it. into that once, as far as video games are concerned, because second person... Second person is so first person is in 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 like the terms of writing, right? First person is I. Third person is Pion did this, right? Instead of I did this. Second person is actually uh, it's talking about they they did. I remember seeing a thing in um. I saw, I saw a video on it once and it was basically like second person's only really been done well in one game ever and that was in um, uh, 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 Driver, one of the Driver games and it was effectively um, you because you can jump between people or you can possess different people or something in Driver, I, I didn't play it but I remember seeing they could, you could like jump between people and one of the things that you did is you were in this car as one character 
and they were like let's say i can't remember exactly what it was it was like a police chase and you're in the police car the camera is and it's following the story of the conversation between these two cops chasing this other car but you're actually driving the other car so you're controlling the other car and driving that um while the while you're following the actual story from the police perspective it's interesting stuff it's interesting stuff. i i'm not really i'm not exactly doing it justice but it's um it's well worth looking into it's interesting mostly used in choose your own adventure games novels and things yeah you you did this you did that exactly there's a few of those games so i suppose there might be a decent second person game but they'd be text yeah on in in camera wise second person camera is um very rare very very rare your walnut brain can't comprehend it fifth person hype terrible even numbers bad odd numbers good yeah yeah fifth person fifth person camera is odd number i suppose um it's interesting though like it's it's like watching like if you ever go into like spectator cam but are also still playing like like you know how uh, grand theft auto or red dead for that matter have cinematic camera are so you still controlling it but you're in cinematic camera that's like second person camera Kinda. Kinda. I'm in a dungeon. So, thing we've learned: square door. Square door is um, resting at checkpoints replenishes ammo and relics at the cost of respawning all the basic enemies in the world. In multiplayer, resting also respawns any fallen allies. All players must be using a checkpoint in order to rest. Yes. Um, is there... So we should be able to see. So from here... Okay, so there doesn't look like there's any side areas in here. Although I really thought that there would have been. Um, yeah, no side areas in there, which is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm actually, I'm just going to check the map when, when, we're, when I'm outside here. So an anime in a, in a monologue is second person. No. No. The narrator would probably be closer to second person. But second person in written form and therefore, like, I suppose an anime in that sense would be more referring to you rather than I or they. Basically, when you're in PUBG and you just died and you're stalking the person who killed you in spectator mode, hovering your finger above the report button, that's second person. Got it. Yeah, that's it. Second person is report mode. Yep. Kill cam. Kill cam is second person camera. Um, map. Did we... Can we go that way? Is there other... It looks like there's more stuff over here. Ah, let's, let's, let's continue on. I can always come back. I can always come back. We'll go through this dungeon and we'll see. I mean, it might not be exactly second person. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the specifics. There is probably a definitive rule for it. But... It is something that is very difficult to pull off in any sort of like uh, visual setting. All right, let's do this. Yeah! Oh, we don't like that. What happened here? Putrid domain. I can smash these pots and get some stuff. those ones they're electrical they're dangerous Ooh, dum dum i have a friend who does that all the time he gets so tilted i don't know why people play games to get angry yeah i mean i don't i don't play um i don't play stuff like PUBG and that sort of thing because purely because of that like it 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 does take away a certain amount of my my own enjoyment because i um not get upset but it's just it doesn't it doesn't leave me feeling great when i'm playing a pvp game and some people love them some people just absolutely love them they're just like it like it challenges them in such a way that they're just that's my that's my shit but for me it's kind of like i part of the reason that i play pve games is because i know that it is a challenge that i can learn and overcome whereas players you never really know what you're going to do and there is very much an appeal for that Oh, why are you why are you like that? Don't do that. 
Don't be like that. That's bad. No, stop it. Ow! He doesn't care. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, did I just blast the other one away by accident? Must have. Yeah, these, 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 this gun, this gun, no, no good, no good for these guys, these zombies. But, um, I do understand the appeal of, you know, always having a new challenge there and, and getting better and better at why you like that. Don't be like that. That's bad. Oh, because he's got a ghost in him. Ow. Pain. It's a different kind of ghost, too. He's a scary orange one instead of the other one. There you go. Hello? Oh, is he winning the other one? Okay. Ah, fuck. Oh, I see. I chop you. Any more? Another one. Okay. I do like this sword. This sword is pretty cool. It's a shame that there's no no aim assist or, or, or well, not aim assist. In a console player, aim assist is kind of what makes it makes a controller work, but there's um there's no sticky. I don't even like challenging video games. I just like to relax. I do like supporting people though, not as much as those people like. Not as much uh, of those games going around anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's almost at a point of like having like a back catalogue of things. So hypothetically, Leana, if you were to play something like, you know, if you play through Dragon Age, do you play as like a uh, like the hero character, so to speak, or do you go for more of the supporting role? Or your squad in that as well, even though it's it's PVE. Pion says I like games that challenge me, but I only like challenging games because there are no consequences. I like both types, chill and hard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think a lot of us play video games because we do like that mix. We do like a bit of both, you know. Um, and there is the the joy to find in in both types. Um, but also, that's I mean, that's what. That's what difficulty modes are for, right? In some games, like this, this has four different difficulties. Um, I'm playing on the second one because I have played it a little bit. I haven't played all of the different adventures and storylines and stuff. Um, but I have played through the campaign once. And it doesn't give you access to all of the different adventures in one campaign run. So you have a lot of replayability in this. Um, but it is, it does have those difficulty levels, so... Being able to crank it up a little bit. I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> this isn't a cakewalk. But I also haven't upgraded any of my gear, so... Yeah, it's kind of that... Measurement of it being my own fault. Playing support in PvE is a touch annoying. I try to play a class sometimes that my companions don't cover, but I'm making an exception in Baldur's Gate 3. I'm playing a druid because I can change into animals and talk to animals. That's very cool. That's very cool. So you can you can fully talk to animals and stuff then? I'm glad that that's in there. Oh, I just hit the ladder. I thought it was hitting him. The one's behind me. I swear I can... Ow! Get destroyed. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Run away! Oh, I'm stuck. I need to heal. He did not like that. Odds in him. Ow! Can't get out. He 
scared? Yeah, you're dead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So there's friendly fire. Enemies can hurt each other. I try to play at the highest difficulty when solo, but if I take two hours on something, then I tone down. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, you got to have, you got to have a certain, a certain sort of right amount of difficulty that you. What was that? I'm just flicking purple. You got to have the right amount of, like, that feeling of achievement, but it's also got to be doable before you get frustrated with it. Come here, you. Ow. Hmm. I still hear another one. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> uh, I like this sword. This sword makes me happy. Still another one coming. There's still another one. to check good idea good idea you could probably hear me shrimping Ugh. thank you for that Liana mm. okay actually you know what no one no one called for it but I'm gonna even I'm gonna even have a little bit of Estes myself hmm excellent all okay. right he came from, like, underneath everything, so that's terrifying. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it was literally just a room with some dudes. Can I get up there? Is there an up there? This game also has, like, a whole bunch of puzzles, so it's very much... It's very much a Souls-like with guns. The guns feel great. It is RPG. But also... It, um... It has a lot of puzzles and secrets and things to look around for. Some puzzles have, like, multiple layers and stuff. It is... It is... Very cool. That's explosive. Demons? Get out of the sky. Oh, are they behind me again? That warm noise? Did you hear the inception? Fuck! Hey, bud! Ow! Run away! Climb the ladder! Do it faster! Mm. Oh, that was way too many shotgun rounds. He's coming again. The music's just really groovy too, like... Ow! Oh shit! I really thought I rolled out of the way of that, but I guess it's because I'm in this shit. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That's bad. I need bullets. They make my guns work. Oh, body. I don't know what he is. He's like a bunch of them fucking taped together. Oh, oh holy hell. <sighs> like horses? No, we don't use horses. We use cows. Use cows on camera. Horses don't look like horses on camera. Usually use cows. What do you do if you need a cow? I don't know. Just tape a bunch of cats together. Yeah. Can I even... Oh, I can drop down there. I don't think I want Here to, though. Go. Oh, are we? We're going, are we? Here we're going. That's 
explosive. I don't like leaving them around. Because they've they've ended me in the past, even on normal mode. Oops. More, really? I can hear something big. Whoa! Okay. Uh, these aren't friendly lasers. He is also not staggered by that. That's bad. Ow! No, thank you. I don't want friendly lasers. Ah! Where'd he go? Oh, that's bad. Get out of here. You cheeky. They can fucking... They're in the walls. That was a lot more noise than it needed to be for me smashing that pot. Oh, there's little guys. Okay. They break them out of the wall or what? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, how many of you are there? Oh, ow. Can we, can we move on? Are we good? You gonna start getting ready to turn in? Have a wonderful day slash night, everyone. Hope the milk works on your powdery mildew problem, Albatross. You should embrace the friendly lasers, Jack. Hope you have a blast embracing the difficulty pion waves. Thank you for being here, Leana. It is always a pleasure to see you. It really is. Um, I hope to talk to you again. But yeah, best of luck with your roses and your repairs and your sexy bricklayer hunt. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again. You need to go to bed as well, Albatross. If you find a sexy trades with them, have to go to sleep. Treasure. I'll take treasure. You gotta finish what you're doing first? Ah, righto. Nope. Right, so these are, these are like stasis pods. These are cryopods. This one would have a dude in it, but it might not. We don't know. That's um, that that bar, that debuff bar, has gone down real slow. Oh, that's treasure. That's a, a treasure chest. You can see the treasure chest on the map. It's the it's the dot. If you ever see a yellow dot like that and I miss it, let me know. Even if it's in the vod. And I'm way too late to actually see it. Rub it in. Anything down here? No, nope, not really. A little bit of scrap. I'll take a little bit of scrap. There's no other side path back there, so we could probably go up around that little path and then down and around in here. Oh, hello. Oh, third one doesn't do anything. And of course, that up upset everything. Of course it did. They're explosive. Oh, hey. Oh, there's so much purple. So much goop. Ooh, I got an amulet. Kinetic shield exchanger. I don't know what that does. Ah, shit. Go away. Ah, 
shit. Here. He takes fuck all damage from the front. Get through the door. These big guys aren't so bad, big meatballs. But what's that amulet I got? What'd we get? While a shield is active, gain 25% mod damage and generate 15 additional percent mod power. I don't have a shield. I just have health. I don't have a way to generate a shield. So that's good. That's an excellent amulet. But I haven't got another one, so I guess I'll wear it. <coughs> okay, onward. hear them. They're around. You can hear that guttural little growl. Hello? Oh, there is... Oh, never mind, he's dead. He's got fucked up by that. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, that's a few. That just destroys them. Oh, he slipped over in his mate's guts. Poor bugger. I do like that they do that. I like that you can, like, you know, shoot him in the knee or whatever. Oh, one of the ghosts. Wonderful. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. And I leveled up, so I got to heal. Ha 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 Suck bomb, ghost. Hope you finish it in a reasonable time. Yeah, she will. I'll, I'll, uh... I'll have to unplug her computer shortly so that she goes to bed at a, an appropriate time. Prospector. What's Prospector do? Prospector. Relic fragments discovered by the explorer. Drop it a higher quality. I like it. So, okay, so... Relic fragments go into your relic. This is basically your Estus flask. And then the relic fragments will boost your different things that you've got going on. Right? And there's a whole bunch of them. Um, and then you can get different relic flasks that do different things as well. Um, depending on what you want to do, some are far better than others. Some of them specifically give you shield rather than health. But they give you like twice as many things. Things like that. No. Bad. You wanted to do crochet, you haven't even done your logbook. Oh no. You're looking at roses. Oh, there's, there's treasure out there. I must have it. Yep. One of those guys as well. Oh. Ow! Okay, so these are like the meatballs. If you hit their weak spots, they pop. And it deals way more damage. What's this? Momentum Driver. Ah, ah. Hello? Matrix? Hmm. It's very much a game of I wonder if I could do that. And I very much wonder if I could do that. So that arm that was there, I wonder if it can take me places, or if I can switch it off maybe, so that it doesn't move around so much. I 
I could get up there even. Can I climb anything? Is there anything? Oh, okay. Oof. So it's literally going to be timing it so that I can get onto that and then getting back off it. And probably not getting zapped. Okay. Oh, they look like fingers. I'm on it. I'm not getting zapped. It's a good sign. Treasure. Was there anywhere else that I could have gone? There's a bridge over there, but I feel like that's really pushing things. And sometimes when you do secrets, you find your way to a, a random boss that you really weren't prepared for. That's fun. Not bad. Not bad at all. Atom splitter. You melee weapon. Oh, but I like my sword. What's atom splitter like? Well, it does double the damage. On a neutral evade, atom splitter achieves nuclear fission. Releasing a wave of charged particles which deals 150 damage to targets within 20 meters. Charge neutral evade attacks increase range by 3% and damage by 25%. Oh yeah, what was the ring? After sprinting for two seconds, movement speed is increased to 15% and stagger level is reduced by one. Okay, so it makes you run better. Okay, so... Oh! Okay, I like this sword. This sword's good too. That's amazing. What if I do a charge one? Oh, that makes it bigger. That's very cool. And if I'm not doing that, I'm just fucking swinging a great sword. That's a pretty cool sword. That is a pretty cool sword. I do like that. I gotta say. That is pretty cool. It doesn't have infinite rage like the other sword, though. Hmm. But it had uh, a charged one boosted to 60 meters, which is pretty far. The world's biggest sword. Now it's more like the Surge. More like a sword from the Surge. What is up here? Yeah. Okay. Just annihilates everything in its path. Okay. Oh. Destroys it. Oh. Okay, it'll kill those dudes when they're mid-jump. Now. Oh, that's me, Paul. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. I don't think I got all the rewards for killing him. They're probably in the wall somewhere, but that's alright. Stunning. <laughs> it's amazing. It is a, it's a big boy sword. Okay, so that was all side path. Did I go into the back of this room? Is there anything in here? Yep, just explosive barrels. Good old video game classic explosive barrels. It sounds like something big's in here too. Ooh, it's got a drop down, but I don't trust that. Great, more bad news. Uh, he was crawling. That was weird. Oh, he was one of the psychic ones, I think. 
Hello? Demons? Hello, everybody. If you'd like to follow me into this hallway where you can all line up, that'd be really great. Aww. Fellas. That's really unfortunate. Ah, ghosts. Thank you. Oh, you can go through walls. I mean, of course he can, I guess. He's a ghost. Excuse me, demon. Oh, shit. Ahahow. Ahahow. Ah. <laughs> I was panic rolling. Shouldn't have. Should have just popped another couple of rounds into him. Alright, well, I'm going to make a bit of a beeline to the Locasio. Actually, no, fuck it. No, we're not. We're going to go back. We're going to go home. We're going to grab... We're going to buy some, some weapon or E. Press view or select in-game to display the area map. You can use the area map to discover unexplored sections in the of the current area. It also helps you to locate crucial elements such as doorways, items, or the last location where your character perished. Not sure where to go? Look for the exclamation point on the, either the travel map or the area map. This, icon's marks, this icon marks areas you need to investigate to move forward in the game. Exclamation marks on the area map signify a critical item, NPC, or a doorway to the next main path area. Remember to venture off the main path and explore. Side dungeons and secrets aren't designated with an exclamation point, but... They are brimming with valuable loot and countless secrets. Oh, yeah? Except the secret parts of the map aren't on the map until you go to them, so they're always secrets until they're not secrets. Oh, okay. We've cut scene, I forgot. Oh, thank the founder. You, you're alive. I am. Where's... You... What happened? That's the party rock. You should touch it. Um, something pulled Clementine in the stone, so I went after her. Wait, what? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? Mm hmm. Fuck's me. I'm looking for her. Right. Right. Sorry. Uh, Clementine. She. She means a lot. To all of us. Uh huh. We, we gotta find her. I'll get everybody together. If she went through the world stone, she. She could be anywhere. All right. I could use all the help that I'll get. Yeah. Damn straight you could. She could be anywhere. Like. Like worlds away all right i'll get brabus and riggs i'll tell them to to give me free guns oh, what the hell am i doing i don't know what's out there any more than you do oh, I, i'd less. be putting the whole town at risk and clem wouldn't want that mm. hell it's a miracle you came back okay oh, i'm sorry the town will help you all it can but i can't ask anyone to go out there we gotta trust you to find her is that is that all right that's fine, I guess. Any help that you can offer is fine. Boward. Thanks, Traveler. Talk to the folks around town. They should have any supplies you need. <laughs> you, you know, Ford used to tell me, old Commander Ford, not the Founder, that a leader and a hero are two different things. The leader's place is always with her people. I thought she was just taking a dig at her grandfather for leaving all the time, but I think I'm starting to understand her better now. I do have some questions. How's my friend Cass? Is she okay? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She's uh, oh, she's doing great. I can't keep her down, really. <laughs> as soon as she heard you disappeared with the founder, she was on her feet. Nothing the doc said would stop her. I don't know what she was doing all that time. Looking for you, maybe. Or just keeping herself busy. Could anyway, be either. All that anxiety of hers turned out to be pretty helpful. She, uh... She even set up shop over toward the, uh, the entrance gate. You should go see her. She don't show it, but she's worried sick about you. Keeps talking about leaving, but never does. I, uh, I've seen that before. Yeah. 
I don't know why we're good friends. I feel like I missed a whole story arc with that, but I don't think these characters were in the first game. So, I don't know. Uh, why is the world stone out here, by the way? Uh, yeah, so... After you and the Founder went missing, Riggs and I went looking for you. Found the stone floating and glowing like the old days. And I had a hunch what happened. You know, not my first experience with this thing, you know? I wanted it out here this time, so we could help anyone who came through right away. Fair Turns enough. out that was the right choice. Okay. Who knows how long it would have taken you to get out of that old ward. I don't know how you moved it without touching it. But... Cool. Um, well, so this isn't your first experience with the Worldstone? You said you saw it years ago? <laughs> right. So, a long time ago, when the route were still everywhere, mm -hmm. I helped the Wanderer get to the oldest ward somewhere out past the... Uh, tell the truth, I don't even know where it is. Now, that's the thing about the Worldstone. They don't give you any idea where you are or how you got there. I don't know how the Wanderer got used to it. Who's this Wanderer? Then, like they traveled a lot and should have been called the Traveler. <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, that's what they call him. Yeah, I didn't come up with it. Yeah, the, uh, the Wanderer did all the real stuff. Entered the ward, fought the route, found Clementine. Anyway, yeah, I, I know better than most. Anything can come out of one of these things. All right, well, where did you think Clementine was before I told you that she went through the stone? <sighs> I, uh, I mean... I knew she was gone. I just... I just didn't know she was that gone. Ah, uh -huh, gone, gone. Clem takes off from time gone to girl. time, you know? It's just... It's just her way. She'll... She'll disappear for hours, sometimes days at a time. Mm -hmm. Well, I never liked it, but... Yep. She can take care of herself, Because she's a wizard. And, and it's not like I could stop her anyway. Because she's a wizard. And she always came back, saying she just needed to be alone for a while. And... I can respect that. I, I, I just... I just wish she'd talk to someone. To you? You know? You seem to not give a fuck about Ford. <laughs> yeah, well, the founder's his own thing, ain't he? I mean, it's not the first time he's disappeared on us. Not even the fifth time. Or well, the sixth Commander time. Commander Ford, the, uh, well, the eighth founder's time. granddaughter, used to say relying on the founder was like running across rubble. Now, you could do it for a while, but sooner or later, it'll let you down. Now, I don't know if I'd go that far, but Founder Ford, he was always more of like, well, more of an idea to us than a leader. <laughs> Hell, when I was a kid, everyone thought he'd been dead for years. But that's the thing about the Founder, he, he never stays gone. Mm. A week, a year, a decade. Sometimes even ten years. Somehow he Long after always he's gone. finds his way back here. All right, Boward, I should keep moving. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Will do. Ugh. Now. Uh, I am going to quickly jump up and pee. Um, should only be gone for a minute or three. Uh, I am going to attempt something that could fuck up everything. But because I'm trying out OBS today... I'm going to be stopping and starting the recording every now and then to have multiple files to see how they come through and all that sort of stuff. If they're, like, worst comes to worst, if all the VODs that I try and record through a laptop don't work, there is still the Twitch VOD that will be one big video. We'll see what happens, but it could delay this coming out on YouTube. Either way, I'll be back with your lovely collection of souls in three minutes. I will... Actually, no, I can do that now, can't I? I can do this. I can do that. And go back in three mins. I press those buttons. That's good. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'll be back in three minutes. I will talk to you, lovely collection of souls, shortly. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, whether it be a week from now, a year, ten years, or long after I'm gone, you're awesome. And I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Back in a minute. <laughs>